Welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where we're continuing to play NES games in order. Today we're playing Spy Hunter for the NES, which is an arcade game I remember from the Roller Den that uh, I used to go to as a kid. Came out in 1987 for the Nintendo. And let's see, we got a David Hasselhoff looking guy on the cover with some cars and cool planes and stuff. The arcade smash of the 80s comes home. One of the longest running hits in video game history, and it's picking up right where it left off. Or left you in the arcade. There's terror at every turn. Tire slashers, torpedoes, bomb dropping helicopters standing in the way of the most diabolical collection of enemy agents ever to hit the video screen. Check out the graphics. Okay, I will. Those explosive sound effects. Okay. And the most incredibly manic action you'll ever see. Try to tell yourself they're not really shooting to kill. That's the hope of the entire free world isn't riding on your every move. That's all just a game. Then we've got you, right where we want you. Are they trying to infer this is reality? I don't know. All right, let's get into this game. This is one of the games I loved playing at the arcade. Uh, there's always a line to play it at the Roller Den, but uh, it was fun. Okay, let's get my bearings. Okay, I, that was just get my bearings. None of this is real, it didn't actually die. the arcade you had all these different buttons for like oil slicks and th things not really sure with two buttons on the NES how that works but but I'm not very good screw you armored car I have like unlimited lives or something. Wow. Wow. Look, the other truck hadn't even left the screen yet. I died so fast. Oh no, get in that one. That's the one you want to go and get an upgrade. Get an upgrade. Yeah. Oh, now I get oil slicks. Screw you, world. My spy agency has unlimited vehicles. Game over. Finally died. Well, that was Spy Hunter. Uh, a game I'm not very good at, but I always thought was pretty cool. Graphics, a four. Sound, four and a half. Music. It's got very little music, but it's cool when it has it. Uh, three, story. Uh, two, controls. Uh, to two, funness. Um, hmm, funness. I'm going to give it a two and a half. Does it hold my attention? I'm going to give it a two and a half. It would hold my attention if I was better at it. Uh, Spy Hunter, we're going to give overall a three and a half. And that was Spy Hunter for the NES, and we'll see you next game. Mm -hmm.